We're here today on RealAirCulture.com with Tra Travis Taves. He is the uh, newly appointed president or elected president of the CCA. Welcome today, Travis. Yeah, good. Uh, thank you. Travis, let's talk a bit about uh, your kind of outlook. Uh, as the, uh, the new president, uh, what kind of stamp or I guess what do you want to see happen in regards to the industry in Canada? Well, um, you know, obviously I think all of us would like to see some increased profitability for every sector in the industry. But, but uh, you know, if, if I have a, a goal, uh, and I think a tangible goal, uh, I, would, I would like to see uh, our, our industry more competitive. Um, in every aspect, uh, when I'm done my tenure, than uh, than when I started, mm -hmm. and uh, that would be that would be my goal. I heard a lot of discussion today about you know the future is bright for the cattle industry. We've been hearing that for for quite a while. When are we going to kind of see the rubber hit the road? Do you think, uh, and where this be, this fu this bright future we've been talking about kind of becomes a bit of a reality? Well, and and that's a very good question. If you if you take a look right now. Uh, at North American demand being very slack due to due to the recession, particularly for higher uh, value cuts, um, and the fact that fed cattle prices, uh, you know, in the U.S. are are in the low 90s, I, I think we can see already that supplies are tightening, and and that we actually have fundamentally quite strong uh, cattle prices uh, in light of a very slack demand, and so analysts I listen to all predict that as as the recession eases, as demand increases that uh, we should be moving into some very good years in the cattle industry. However, uh, the Canadian uh, industry, of course, has one extra challenge, and that's the currency um, appreciation that we've experienced in the last couple of years. And so that currency appreciation, even today, has taken some of the gains out of the Canadian industry that we would have otherwise had. Quite frankly, if we had the same currency value that we had uh, in, in 2003 when we ran into all of our trade issues, uh, we would see fed cattle uh, prices at uh, very close, if not record levels, and uh, and you know certainly on the cow kill we would be at, at absolutely record levels right now. So the currency has tempered um, some of the gains that the Canadian industry would have already experienced, and and uh, you know if if the bad news in the currency is all in, well then you know in you know as prices improve in North America, we'll capture all of that improvement. However, if our currency continues to rise, it's going to pull away. Uh, from some of the, those gains from Canadian producers. And fi uh, last question, uh, take your political hat off and uh, put on your, your ranch hat. Uh, what are some of the things, or I guess, what's the biggest challenge right now operationally uh, in the ranching business? Well, you, you know, operationally for us this season, uh, we're dealing with uh, some drought conditions, believe it or not. Uh, in the the only region. area in Western Canada that's dealing with that, drought. That, well, that that area and, and some parts of BC, the interior mm -hmm. of BC, is also pretty tough in places. But uh, so you know, so for us right now, operationally, we're pulling yearlings off grass early, and uh, and moving them, and and uh, so, so that's a challenge, and that's a challenge for for a lot of folks in our area. Um, you know, uh, otherwise, clearly, we're heading into what we think is another period of of tight labor supplies in Alberta and, and I'm looking at my staff and staffing requirement and, and uh, that's concerning me logistically and for the years to come and uh, no doubt that will, will be a factor for the industry again. Looking at the, the early the early uh, feeder cattle markets or the cattle have been brought to market so far we may be possibly off to a very good fall in terms of feeder cattle prices. Yeah, no, absolutely. We've seen some feeder cattle prices this year that we haven't seen for a long time. And, and when you consider that we have almost a par dollar, it's, uh, you know, fundamentally it, it shows the strength of the market. For sure. Travis, thanks a lot for joining us today and hopefully we'll talk to you again soon. Yeah, very good. Thank you.